I've got an oven. I've got a grindstone. Okay, I should probably create a miner now, right? So I'm going to build a little mine. Mm -hmm. Miner oh, 69er. Yeah. Miner 49er. All right. Oh, I need to get yourself uh, something to research, dude. Let's see. What can you research? Um... Let's see. Should I go for flax or should I go for bronze? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's really your call. Flax is going to allow you to get like linen and stuff like that for um, certain blocks. It's going to be cheaper, definitely, will, to get flax first. Will bronze let me do like crossbows and I stuff like I think bronze like is going to be where we can get up to bow and arrows and stuff. Oh, but you know Ooh. what? No, you're going to need flax as well because you got to make bow strings. So they're both important. Okay. okay. So I'm going to do flax as well. <laughs> right now, I'm not worrying so much about this. Oh, another thing that you're going to need for, mm -hmm. I just remember this, for the wheat, you're going to need a workshop because you need somebody to make firewood, which you also can't make on your own. So that's three oh, things that you need for it. Then we're also going to need somebody to cut plants and stuff. Cut wood, a forester. <sighs> yeah, eventually. So Although, need a, getting another... wood, wood is easy for you to get on your own starting out. Mm -hmm. So, like, you can just run out into the forest and get some. So that's not a, as huge oh of an God. issue as the other parts. I need so much more food all of a sudden. Oh, no, uh... Ash. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do too. Oh, crap. My food's like, at zero uh, right now. Oh, that's not good. My food's that's okay. My good. food's at forty-two, but my guy's planting wheat now, so hopefully that'll help increase it, right? Uh, yeah, it's gonna take a couple days though. Oh, but because you have to harvest it, it takes days. Okay, there we really go. Get it's, more it's, berry it, farmers. It's actually going up. Yeah, Ash, okay. if you're at zero. Yeah, it's a, it's going like three point eight zero one point eight zero. That's real oh, not no, good. Ash. That's real not good. You gotta you gotta do something about that. Okay, I'm gonna get another bed. Um, get another guy. I'll get another berry farmer. Uh, oh no, I think I'm out of copper. Oh no. Gotta go find some copper. Oh no! Okay, Maybe get rid of one of your up. miners, Ash. Yeah, get rid of a miner. Because you've probably got a huge stock. Uh, get, but get rid of both of them for now, honestly. You're not gonna need that much stuff super early on. Uh, yeah, I can just, uh, change him to be a bit, like, if I remove him, he'll just become the berry farmer, right? If you remove his job, he'll go take whatever, yeah, other job is available to him. Okay, so, what do I have a huge stock of? Is it, it's tin, which I don't need right now. So, tin, uh, special block removal, boom. Now you, yes, you're the berry farmer now. Go, go get to work. So, <laughs> go do your job. Somebody may have already talked about this, but if I hire a miner, mm -hmm. will they just mine stone until they find like tin or something? Or do no, I need no, to no, find no, no, the tin no. for them? They will stand on the spot that you put them on and they will infinitely Great. mine that spot. So right, if you gotcha. put them on tin, they'll mine tin forever from that one spot. And is there a particular depth that I will find, like copper or something, or is it just random? There is. Um, I don't know like any way to in uh, indicate it to you, but it's pretty simple. Like you'll, you'll yeah, find it. Dig until you get to like you'll dig until you get to stone, and then keep on digging until you get to darker stone, and that's where this stuff is for me okay. anyway. Um. I hear two more people, and this is gonna be <clears throat> it's gonna be closed for me. Oh, okay, there oh, we go. I'm in the orange. Ooh. Okay, what is what is red blocks? Uh, copper. Perfect. That's and then near those, there should be like small silver blocks, and that's tin. That's tin. Yeah. Which, what is tin good for? Absolutely no. <laughs> uh, making bronze. Say it again now. So you mix copper and tin to make bronze. Got it. All right. But All if I need stuff. copper like now, I can just go ahead and take this block, right? Yes. As long as you, you know, when you're digging down there, as long as you leave yourself one block that will eventually be able to be mined by somebody, you can Beautiful. dig out whatever else you need. I'm going to go take a little tour of everybody else's place. I'm going to go check out your place, Ash. I haven't seen it at all. Oh, look at all your little berry guys over here. <laughs> They're all berries. They're all berry boys. Hi, berry boys. So, how do you make bronze, then? Uh, you can't make it yourself. You need someone to make it for you. In what? Like, what do a I furnace. need to build? I need to build a furnace for them. Yeah, so it's a furnace job. So somebody will smelt copper. Oh, and so here, I'll show you guys this. Now that we have... Uh, let's see. So once you make that, that'll give you the option. Jazzy, did you make a workbench yet? I have. Uh, so if you click on the workbench, if you left click on it, uh, you can set the levels of how much stuff you want them to make of each type of thing. Um, so basically you can set it to be like, okay, I want them to always have, I don't know, I always want to have 
300 sling bullets. And so if yeah. I drop below 300, you'll make that more of that. Um, but you want to make sure that they're making firewood for your um, uh, baking. Okay, uh, so I, I, I'm going to take this slowly. Because right now, there's just a lot of stuff. Yes. Um, so right now, I'm just going to make another guard. Because I definitely need another guard. Because there's a uh, hole in my... In my defenses. Wait, did I group? How many? Yeah, I have eight colonies, eight bits. Okay, cool. Okay. Oof. Man. Okay, so... So, when I... I do firewood, how do I make them do firewood? Or do I just so make it you myself? can't you can't, like, force create it. But what you can do is if you go to the workbench... Uh, so, where's your oh. workbench? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. That's the science bench. Oh. There's a workbench. Do I not have a workbench then? Maybe I don't have a workbench. Okay, so you can oh, make an item called a workbench here. Oh, copper parts and copper tools. Okay, I see. Yeah. So in that one, you're allowed to set you you can set priorities, kind of like um, you'd be familiar with it from like RimWorld and stuff, mm -hmm. where you can set priorities for like these are the items I want the most, and this is how much like the quantity of those that I want. Gotcha. Uh, and so you'll always want to have like kind of like a base amount of things like firewood or. Um, Gotcha, well, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. There we go. I'm making bronze. Sweet. So how do you make a bronze ingot? You guys just talked about this. Just you? talked about it. Furnace. We, yeah, you need to build a furnace, and then you need to have a dude that makes it for you. It's a job. Right. So Everything's a job. I actually, I just basically fired all my miners and have them doing other stuff now, um, which I feel like makes sense since I don't need them to be constantly doing it. Exactly. Like, especially this early on in the game when you only have, like... Because eventually, I'm not going to lie, I think I've had a colony with, like, three or four hundred colonists in it before. Whoa! Um, and so, I think I think I actually at one point got to a thousand just, like, to, to goof. It was nonsense. Um, but, yeah, since, like, right now we only have, like, ten, twelve colonists, maybe, uh, then bouncing them around between jobs is kind of the better way of doing things. And so, I mean, when you have a colony that large you obviously have a much larger space right yes so that's a research thing you can research larger area okay uh and so that's something that we'll eventually get to and that's when we're gonna all have to like figure out how we're gonna do that because we're all gonna have to expand like we're gonna have to move our our banners and change our wall borders and stuff so mm -hmm. we'll see how that works <laughs> can you but, move your banner without yes. like breaking everything it doesn't break everything uh all it does is um you go i believe you go into siege mode again um, uh, so like you're gonna, your food's gonna drain super fast, and uh, then once you put it back down, it goes back to normal. Cool. But then anything that's outside of your new border would like no longer belong to you, right? It would be like uh, dead. My food is doing better now. So good, good. I'm good, still good. In, I'm still in the red, but it's not zero. So. I'm well, in that, the red I mean, too, but I just made another berry farm, so I'm hoping that that'll pick up by morning. Yeah. And as long as it's going up, as long as it's yes. going up, you're you're doing fine. It's just like saying like, don't spend any food. Oh, please. dude, look at this guy. He's green. He's green, and he's that, tough. those are the tough ones. They take a lot of hits. They take a lot of hits. He's dead. There we go. All right, I have the goons, the goons twins. They're protecting <laughs> my base. The super goons twins. The super goons twins. Nice. The super goons. The super goons twins. And introducing. <laughs> Right, what happens if I lock this. my colonists in a room? If you lock your colonists in a room, I think yeah. they'd be fine. So they like won't at be able night, to get to their I job. Can, but at night, I could like put blocks and like protect them, right? <laughs> yeah, probably. I can't probably see yeah, like you could. Uh, yeah, your slinger. Wall you could in. probably just like break their staircase just for the night. Yeah. 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 Dude, I'm trying to so level out zombies. my base because it's so hilly. Yeah, you did pick kind of like a little hilly zone there. Oh, guy got in. Get wrecked from the sky. Boom, 360, no scope. I gotta say, my guy is doing a really good job of uh, killing these zombies. Thanks, mm -hmm. buddy. If I could give you a raise, I would. But I can't, so. But the fact is, I'm not even paying you as it is. Oh my god, three you zombies just came in. You're I think that he just... Well, I guess I'm feeding him. That's kind of indentured servitude, isn't it? I'm going to take care of you, but I'm never going to give you enough money to actually leave. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the sad reality of them. Colony Simulator. Yeah. 
Yep. Just hit us all. Just the sad reality of colonies. The end. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who would want to leave in a world like this? Where right? To be fair, when you live in a zombie apocalypse, you do have to make some concessions. Where are you going to go? Who's going to protect you from these zombies? I mean, Nobody. I could, uh, to be fair, when we look at each other, do we not look like exactly like these people? We do. So therefore, wouldn't they? Wouldn't you think they'd be capable of doing literally all the same stuff that we're doing? <laughs> we, <that's, laughs> well, you they know, should literally looks, all be able to like just build their own little home and their own little walls and things. Looks can be deceiving. Ooh, okay, the fact this is, is slightly I'm much political smarter. as well. you like, oh, <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't let them know. Don't let them know. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay there we go. You're, you're doing great. Real. You're doing great. <laughs> We look like Canadians, is what we look like. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Me too. Got floppy heads. <laughs> Canadians with your floppy heads. They've gone awry. Now let's, uh, let's, 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 let's uh, you know, be specific. This is those Canadians from South Park. Indeed. We look like Terrence and Phillips, or I'm trying hey, to say. Guys. So, Price, let me oh, ask you this. Guys. If you uh, wanted to, like, crazy min max, yep. at the beginning anyway, yep. wouldn't it technically be possible to. Every time the sun goes down, remove all your other jobs, create a whole bunch of slinger jobs, get them all to do that during the night, and then once the night's over, remove all of that and put back their original jobs. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, I think that with certain things, like if you delete like a wheat farm, you're going to lose its progress. Right. Um, so like you wouldn't want to do it as the farmers, but like all yeah. the miners, all the scientists, all yeah, that totally. stuff. Yeah, totally. Totally. Oh yeah, that's so a really good idea. when the wheat is yellow, it's harvestable, right? Yes. Okay, I need to get two more jobs now. Oh, we need to have a we need to have a wheat harvester. Well, just like the wheat farmer does the does the harvesting. Okay, it, good. It's, it's okay. a one person job. She right. she's uh, I'm assuming Jazz, you're you're talking about making your uh, grinder and your baker. Yeah, yeah. And so, your butcher, your baker, your candlestick maker, mm -hmm, all that stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of it. All of it. Mm -hmm, all of it. Yes. 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 All right, so I've got some bronze, so now I can get this guy to start doing his thing. His thing. His thing. Uh, select research. Make another wheat farm. Go. Get out of bed. Okay. okay. I'm gonna need three of those. How many nails Whoa! You got? Okay, I didn't realize this. Oh, uh, geez. Ah. Uh, what? Uh, the borders between our towns, Jazzy. Uh huh. Uh, where you built your wall was actually like interior to yours. So like, actually it's like this edge right here. So my Baker building that I built is actually partially within your borders. Oh, <laughs> oh, my, oh snap. My guy led a freaking zombie towards my flag. Get out of here. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Your guy is revolting. He's like, ah, uh, he, he's in cahoots with the zombies. He's revolting. They paid him better than you did. That's so funny. My, so Jazzy. <laughs> You could totally like put jobs and things like that in here with like my my baker and whatnot. Oh, because uh, like my baker and my grinder, like I literally I put them like on the last possible squares I could before it's like outside into your area. So <laughs> they basically walk into this building. They work on my side of the border, <laughs> and your people could work on your side of the border. Oh man! Food. Hey, look. All right, there we go. It's it's the now realities of this world. Creep up there, Jesusman. Uh, I am going to hire two more people. I'll let them grind all this wheat, and then we're gonna start baking. Oh, I guess I should probably bake the bread at the same time, huh? So, price is water useful uh, at all in this game? Uh, not really. Okay. Um, zombies can spawn in water and can uh, can climb out of the water. I've built moats in the past. They do work fairly well. Like, you can dig a moat around your thing, and they'll you know follow the moat until they can get to wherever they can get. Make mm. that bread. Make that bread. So you can do like bread. a like a drawbridge situation. Oh, okay. So then, wait, yeah, you can. Oh, well, yes. You just have to build out the bridge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, but like, you can make it so it's like, okay, if I dig here, I'm gonna do this right now on on my screen. Uh, I'm gonna dig out around my wall. I'm gonna dig like a little trench uh, just near the entrance, so that if zombies want to come in, they have to actually like pile up in the front, you know? Mm -hmm. So it'll make it easier for my guards to hit them if they all have to come down this like long pathway. All right, furnace, copper parts, copper nails, and tin. All right. All right. Can do. You can do. Can do. Ooey. What? Ooey. You heard the man. All right, so I'm in the red on food. 
but they're making bread, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, and, and so you should see, like, it should pretty quickly jump back up, so you'll be good. Just make sure, like I said, to, uh, get that workbench going. I ran into that problem before where I didn't have anybody making firewood, and so then all of a sudden I was, like, hemorrhaging food.